No sleep, all things run dry, I'm empty. I can't see, I'm blinded by this concrete. And I should call you, see what you've been up to. I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months? I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me. Good morning everybody, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Um, as you can see, I've just got ready. I feel like I need to blend that bronzer a little bit more actually. That does not look good. I should have used my ring light, I didn't use it today. I think that's better. Um, yeah, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I am ready for the day and I thought I would vlog today. So today is actually February and I thought I could do like a little reset day and just sort of stuff out, do some goal planning or goal setting, whatever you want to call it, for the month ahead and just I need to put some washing on, I need to tidy the house and I thought we could just do it together. I am also popping out today with my mum. We're going to town, just have a meet around the shops, get a coffee, just have a little day together. So I really hope that you enjoy spending the day with me. I think I will be vlogging just today. I don't know if I'll vlog tomorrow. Me and Callum have actually made an effort to go on a date night a week and I have made an effort to have that day off work and literally do nothing, no work whatsoever, um, no editing, no filming, nothing. So we are actually going out tomorrow for lunch and just like a walk and stuff just to spend the day together because we don't see each other a lot anymore because of his work and also my work, it just doesn't coincide as much as it used to. Um, so we only really get like weekends off together now but it actually makes it really like more meaningful having just like that one day together or two days together uh it just makes it so much more meaningful and like quality time together so that's what we've been trying to do to keep going with the current work situations with us guys i heard back about that news that i mentioned in one of my vlogs it wasn't the news I wanted, it wasn't good news, um, it was actually about a job and yeah, it wasn't good news, so sad times but I've moved on, I was very upset for the first like couple of days but we've moved on, life goes on and we'll just hope that something better comes along. I'm gonna get changed, um, I don't know what I want to wear today. I don't really, the weather's quite cloudy and I'm not sure if it's cold so I'll probably wear a coat but I need to figure out what I'm wearing. I think my mum will be picking me up in the next couple of hours. So we've got a couple of hours to put some washing on, do a little bit of hoovering, just a bit of a tidy up, and then we're gonna pop out for the day. I really wanna pop into Jo Malone and see if they have this perfume that I really wanna smell. I'm not buying anything today, I'm on a spending ban and obviously i've already treated myself this month to my tasmans and yeah i am on a spending ban i'm not allowed to spend any more money oh hang on i did buy one thing last night online and it was a book so i justify books as purchases because i just think i love reading it's a thing that i really enjoy and i haven't done it as much recently one thing guys this week that i have done to really try and change my habits um is reading so <laughs> so i feel like a broken record at this point um talking about my mental health and how i've been doing and i feel like i have been in a slump on and off for the past two years it hasn't been great i haven't been great at the minute and i go through like waves it's so weird because sometimes i'm absolutely fine and i'm really happy and then other times it just hits me like a ton of bricks and the past few weeks have definitely been that for me and then with the bad news it just oh it all came toppling down i was i was not good and i haven't been good for a few weeks i'd say but this week I have started to feel better because I am trying to make some more changes to my habits. Again, this happens in waves. I feel like I get into a routine and then I fall out of it and then I end up back in it. And it's really annoying because 
I don't know if it's down to like my self-discipline. I don't know if anyone else struggles with this. I definitely do. And I can't be the only one. I cannot be the only one. But this week I have stopped going on social media as much. Again, this time last year, or maybe sometime last year, I feel like I got into a really good rhythm and I wasn't going on social media as much. I was limiting my screen time. And over Christmas, that just went downhill. And I've really seen a difference. Like I really don't feel good. And I've tried to stop going on social media as much. It is very difficult though, because it's my job. So this is where the conflict comes in. And I'm like, I don't know how to navigate this, but I have tried to not go on my phone as much. I have limited the people I'm following. I've unfollowed a lot of people that don't make me feel good. Um, Cause I feel like that is a really big thing. Like you should be following people that inspire you and make you feel good. So I follow a lot of like quotes, Instagram accounts that always come up with like affirmations, things like that, that I can see throughout the day if I am on Instagram. That's one thing I have done this week. Um, I've also started, <laughs> this is going to sound weird. I don't know actually, does it sound weird? I have started doing Sudoku. So a couple of years ago, I think I bought a book from Poundland and it was a Sudoku book and it had like easy, medium, hard and very hard do you call them like puzzles or something but i've really been enjoying it and i have just been doing that for like an hour <laughs> maybe half an hour and it's really like kept my mind busy it's I, f I think it's really fun and i've actually got a lot better at it when i first started i wasn't that great i kept getting them wrong and then there was like it was so wrong to the point of no return but now i actually think i'm really good at it so i'm gonna try and progressively get harder so like medium and then eventually do the very hard ones but that's been something i've really liked and i feel like i don't have a lot of hobbies outside of youtube so i am trying to find things that i really enjoy doing i'm gonna start doing yoga at home or maybe pilates is that how you say it pilates so I'm going to try and find some like YouTube channels that do like yoga for beginners so that I can do it at home. I have been doing the bike, the exercise bike every now and again when I remember to do it. It's just not something I actively think to do. But when I do actually do it, I feel really good for it after. I've just finished reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Callum bought me that book from the airport on the way back from Mallorca in October and I still hadn't finished it. I'd literally only read like a couple of chapters and then I didn't finish it. But the other day I started reading it again and I finished it in two days. Two days it took me to finish it and I loved it. So I've just ordered um, last night, which is the purchase I was gonna tell you about before I went on this whole tangent. Um, I've purchased Verity by Colleen Hoover. I've heard it's more of like a thriller style book, but I've heard it's really good. So that's gonna to arrive today. I ordered it off of Amazon and it was only £4.50. So I was like, why not? I want some more things to read from her. So that's coming today. But yeah, the whole point of me telling you that is that I feel like some of us get into really bad habits. I can speak from personal experience. I've got into some really bad habits and I'm really trying to break them. And this year, I'm gonna be really strict with myself. And I've said this every year and I just don't feel like my self-discipline has been good. Like it's just not been there. But this year I'm so fed up with myself that I'm like, I have to change. I have to change it. And I think I'm gonna take you along on this journey feel like I honestly feel like a broken record it's so annoying I'm gonna let you guys know what I get up to what I do to change my mindset for any of you that are feeling the exact same way as me I am gonna trial and test some of the things that I see on TikTok about like changing habits and stuff and I'm gonna let you know the outcome so if any of you are interested then I can let you know but my camera battery is flashing red. I need to change that. I need to get dressed. I've got the heating man coming soon to check our heating. Um, and then I can go out with my mum. I wanted to escape for a while. Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind. I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight. I know that I need to get myself back in the game. Someone said your name had a ton of Suddenly you're there sending me the crowd Everything comes
goes back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine, you're still mine They skip the small talk Cause you know me better than I Know myself for oh, my It's been a while now since I saw you But it feels like yesterday somehow Hey guys, I think my mum is nearly here. I've been tracking her on Life360. That's literally how I know where everyone is. Um, but I think she might be on her way here now. So I thought I'd show you the little outfit of the day. Um, so this is what I'm wearing. I've gone pretty cash, but nice, like dressy cash. Um, so underneath, I've got like this jumper, um, which is from Princess Polly. It's like a V-neck one. You can't really see it very well because I've got the scarf on. Um, the scarf is from Home Bargains and it's just my favourite scarf ever. You would not be able to tell that this is from Home Bargains and it was literally like £4, which is so good. Um, I'm then wearing my Princess Polly coat. This is like, sort of, would you call it Sherpa? Like a Sherpa lining? And it's like a leather look coat as well, which I love. I feel like this coat goes with so many outfits. I actually got it ages ago now um, when I did a collaboration with them. And I love it. I feel like it just transforms any outfit. Then I've just got some black seamless leggings on from Boohoo. And then I'm going to wear my Tasmans, which my fake tan on my feet is awful. I really need to scrub it off tonight. So hopefully the Tasmans cover that. But yeah, really like the outfit. I'm going to wear my little um, Chanel bag and... That's it. I've got some little earrings in as well, which are from Primark. Oh my God, the difference between my ear and my face is awful. I think my sister is actually coming with us now. I didn't realize that she's off work today, so she's actually gonna come with us. I'm really hoping I don't get foundation on my scarf, <laughs> but that's probably gonna happen, isn't it? But it's a bit later on in the afternoon now than we'd originally planned, but I was waiting for the heating guys to come and they've not come, so... I mean, we did tell them that it would have to be before half 12 because I wouldn't be here. So maybe they just finished late and then decided not to come because they knew we wouldn't be here. I don't know, but <laughs> I've got to go. So yeah, my sister's coming with us now um, because she's off work today. So great. We're going to have a nice little day together. I might get a matcha latte if there's a coffee number one. I tried a Starbucks matcha the other day and it wasn't as good as coffee number one. That's the best one I've tasted so far. So let's go shopping. If I see anything nice, I'll show you. Um, I might just film it and then do like a voiceover or something. I might try out a different style. But we'll see how we feel. And I'll see you when we get there. Okay guys, I'm now home. I had such a lovely day with my mum and my sister. Sorry, I didn't film anything. Um, we were trying to get around as many shops as we could and time just ran away from me and then we went for an impromptu dinner and we actually went to Wagamama's and it's been really, really nice. So I've just got back. As you can see, I'm wearing a headband. I bought this today from H&M. I love it. I've really been looking for a headband like this and I've never known which one to get. I would rather buy it in person than online so that I could try it. And I tried it on in H&M and I loved it. Um, and it was only five pounds. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, I did pick up only a couple of things today, but I thought I'd show you because they're really, really nice. Also my books arrived. So I got home and this was through the letterbox. Um, it's the book that's by Colleen Hoover, the Verity one. So I'm really looking forward to starting to read this. I posted on my Instagram the other day that I'd finished Ugly Love. And so many of you have messaged me saying that you're either going to read a Colleen Hoover book or you love them too. She's just so good. Like she's a really 
gripping writer and like you get hooked into the books which i love so it says here number one sunday times best-selling author which i understand why because she's bloody amazing so if you haven't read a colleen hoover book i really recommend this one most of the books i've read of hers are like romance books um but there's always like a twist in it like the three that i've read so far i've read it ends with us it starts with us and ugly love and they are just amazing like there's a little twist in all of them actually i'm not sure if there's a twist in it starts with us that kind of just follows on from it ends with us but yeah it ends with us and ugly love had little twists in them and i was like oh my gosh um but this one it says is it lowen or lowen lowen ashley is a struggling writer on the brink of financial ruin when she accepts a job offer of a lifetime Jeremy Crawford, husband of best-selling author Verity Crawford, has hired Lowen to complete the remaining books in a successful series his injured wife is unable to finish. Lowen arrives at the Crawford home ready to sort through years of Verity's notes and outlines, hoping to find enough material to get her started. What Lowen doesn't expect to uncover is the chaotic office is an unfinished autobiography Verity never intended for anyone to read page after page of bone-chilling admissions including Verity's recollection of the night her family was forever altered. So I think this is more of a thriller which I'm so excited to read. Um, and then yeah obviously I bought the headband and we popped into Primark. Now I had no intention of buying anything from Primark just because me and Sophie are actually going to Primark next weekend I think it is. Um, and we're going to Mary Hill, which is a, a lot bigger than the one that is local to us. And Sophie's never been to um, Mary Hill before. I thought it would be fun to go there. But I saw some more boyfriend pyjamas, guys, and I couldn't resist. Cheltenham, actually, if you're local, have quite a few of the colours of the boyfriend pyjamas. So they had black and the green ones that I have. And they also had pink, which I picked up look how cute these are i cannot recommend boyfriend pajamas to enough if you haven't tried them you need to try and get your hands on some they're 15 pounds from primark which is a little bit pricey for the primark pajamas but i'm telling you now take my word for it they are so worth the price this is my third pair i think this should probably be my last pair but they also had a really nice like um deep purple color which was gorgeous but i preferred the pink and i think sophie has the pink as well or she might have the purple i can't remember but sophie was laughing because we got the same like boyfriend pajamas and she always wears hers as well so we were just like great minds think alike but i always get mine in a large because they are so comfortable so i picked up those and that was the only thing i picked up from primark because i am saving myself to do a haul next week so these will probably also be included in that haul. And then my sister treated me to a couple of bits, bless her. We were in Wilco and my sister has this mug that I always admire when I go round. And it's just so pretty. And me and my sister have a thing about butterflies. It's just, we just love butterflies. It's something that we love. And I always take butterflies as a sign like if i'm looking to the universe for a sign i know this sounds crazy i always look for butterflies so she kindly bought me this mug which she does have herself and I, it's so pretty i love it i do actually need to do a mug clear out in the cupboard because i do have too many i know i do but this is gonna be a mug that i will keep forever um because it also reminds me of jazz so um, this is £5, by the way, if you do like the look of it. And they also had one that had bees over it. And there was another one, but I can't remember what was on it. But I love them. I think it's so cute. Um, and then she also picked me up from H&M. She picked one up for herself as well. But she saw that I was looking at them. And it's just a claw grip. And I really liked this one because it's really big. And my hair is so thick that sometimes the smaller ones that I have just don't hold my hair as well. They do hold it. But I, do have to, I find that I have to readjust it quite a lot. So I'm hoping that this one... Is a lot better um and this was seven pounds well 6.99 and i love the color of it as well i think it's really pretty 
Oh, and then I also picked up a mascara. One of you commented on my video saying that the Sky High mascara is better in black. Um, so I picked up this one from Superdrug and I think it was 11 99 Boots actually didn't have it, so I had to go to Superdrug. But I'm really excited to try it. It says it's in cosmic black. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying that because my pink one um, has nearly run out. So I needed a new mascara. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up today. Not too much. Um, we mainly went just to have like a little mooch around the shops, but the kind of window shopping. We popped into Jo Malone as well, which was really nice. I really wanted to smell this perfume. It's currently on my wrist and it's called... Oh, what is it called? Something like rose and vanilla. And it's so nice. They've got like a little Valentine's Day section in Jo Malone at the moment. And it's really, really pretty. The packaging is really nice as well. It's like limited edition Valentine's Day. Um, and that's really nice. So yeah, overall, I've had a really lovely day. I'm sorry that I haven't vlogged a lot today. I feel like I'm gonna carry on this vlog maybe over tomorrow. And now I'm just gonna sit and watch. I've just popped on Pearl Harbor. I love the film Pearl Harbor. So I'm gonna sit here and watch this. Light a candle, make a cup of tea in my new mug. And then I'm probably gonna take off my makeup and get ready for bed. Callum is currently out tonight. He has gone for a curry with his friends. I had Wagamama's, as I mentioned, and I tried the Pad Thai for the first time. Delicious. It was the chicken and prawn one, and it was so good. My mum had the same, and she really liked it. And Jasmine had a... Is it ramen? I think it's ramen. Bloody hell guys, Pearl Harbor is such a sad film. I really, really like it. It's quite a long film. Um, if you've never watched it before, be prepared to cry. Um, I've actually watched it so many times now, so I forced myself not to cry, but it is really sad. So I'm just gonna take my makeup off now and get ready for bed. Cam's still not home, <laughs> he must be having a good night. I'm gonna use my cleansing balm to take off my makeup. This is the inky list one that I always talk about. Ever since I got it, I have been obsessed with it. Make some weird noises though when I squeeze it out. Oh no, here it comes, it's all out. Um, yeah, this is actually so good for taking off makeup. And I use it in the morning as well to cleanse my face. It's just so good. It just gets like all of the excess makeup off of your face. Oh, I've just remembered one thing that I didn't pick up today. I was meant to get some cotton pads. It's also really good at removing eye makeup. I'm gonna look really scary in a minute. So uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I also had a comment on one of my vlogs about peanut. Um, if he's awake, he should be waking up soon, I'd imagine, because it's fairly late at night. Um, so I'll see if he <laughs> wants to come out and say hello. He's very old now. Well, I say very old. He's not very old. Um, Syrian hamsters normally live to about two to three, is what it says online. I think the standard is two. And he is sadly approaching two in April or may i can't remember when he was actually born i know that we picked him up i think it was maybe may or june in 2021 so he is sadly getting older he does sleep for a lot longer now and he is getting very slow we had him out the other night he loves to like come on the bed with us and explore so um, we had him out the other night and i really noticed how slow he is now which made me so sad like i can't think about it too much because it really does make me sad um to the point where i actually think i could cry he is literally like my first child guys he has really helped me through some difficult times and i know that sounds silly people will be like oh it's just a hamster he's not just a hamster to me he is literally my baby and i love him he's just so funny he's got such like quirky personality 
and I just really love him and I find it really sad to think about life without him <sighs> bloody hell Sophie let's not get all depressing I think it's because I've just watched a sad film oh let's not go down that route but yeah I will show him if he decides to come out tonight he's also just a very lazy hamster now it is probably just his age but he's very lazy now takes after me he likes his sleep <laughs> right i'm gonna go rinse my face before i scare you all to death <laughs> but see what i mean like it's just so nice and it feels really nice on the skin as well especially when i've got sensitive skin which i have at the minute so i'm gonna go wipe it off with a flannel and then i'll be back with you <laughs> so that is my makeup removed um my skin's a little bit red as i said it's a little bit sensitive at the minute um and i'm just going to use the waleda skin food which i always use <laughs> i actually recently just found my embrolise cream <laughs> so when we um got the new car and i emptied out the car i forgot that it was in my boot in like a bag because jasmine had accidentally taken it home like ages ago now and she gave my stuff back to me in a little like carrier bag and I put it in the boot and uh, I forgot about it. So I've been using that again as well. Callum's just got home. No, not in your boxes, Cal. You can't see me. <laughs> yes, you can. No, you can't. <laughs> Someone's had a bit too much to drink. Oh, I'm in my new PJs, guys. These are so cute. I knew they were going to be cute though because as I said I've got two other pairs of them and they're just so soft. I wish you could actually feel how soft these are. I feel like my face is getting more and more red by the minute. Um, we did just try and get Peanut out but he was having none of it. We tried to entice him with treats. Nothing. He's still snoozing. So I will try and show you him in another vlog. Or maybe tomorrow if I can get him to come out. But we are going to go to bed now. I think I might start reading some of my new book. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, everybody. It's just like you've never learned. We have just arrived in Gloucester because we are going to Bills. We're at a scrand angle, aren't we? Uh, we are late. It's taken us yeah, 50 minutes. Yeah, it's not minutes. our fault, though. Yeah, we were stuck, and we were stuck behind that really slow car for ages that had hay bales on the back. But, uh, well, grip yeah. me any tighter. I'm not gripping you tight. <laughs> you just Your squeeze was getting harder. No, it wasn't. I don't know what you're talking about. So, yeah, we are just about to walk to Bill's for some food. And then I think we're going to have a little wander around the shops. Are you uh, looking forward to the food? What are you going to get? I might get a burger. So we're just transitioning here to a little voiceover. We went to Bill's and I got a coconut matcha latte. This tasted incredible. I also got the chicken burger and this comes with rosemary fries and we got a side of mac and cheese, which was delicious. Callum got the all day breakfast and then we had a look around the market that was just outside and Callum picked up this really nice brownie. It looked delicious. And then when we got home, I had a nice bubble bath with my new Butter Bear, well, Butter Ball from Lush, my favourite bath bomb. And I read some of my new book. Look who's awake, everyone. <laughs> he actually, oh, sorry about the washing machine. He actually wanted to come out tonight. Good morning. Morning, mister. Good morning. Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> In the gap. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> Come here, my little angel. <laughs> it's focusing on your face. It's focusing on your face and not his. <laughs> Look at his little fluffy head. So, we're going to sit down with this little guy ah. for a yeah. few minutes. And then we're going to get into bed and watch a film. Oh, <laughs> little gap there. Come on. <laughs> look at your floof. I know, look how fluffy he is, guys. Oh, yeah, it was way longer than this over Christmas. Like when we had the really cold months, he got so fluffy. But it's gone down a little bit now. 
as you can see he's a little bit slower than he used to be oh goodbye oh that's my top peanut she's <laughs> trying to go up my top it's because it's nice and warm hello everyone i am not looking my best right now but we are not going to judge uh my hair is practically fallen out even though i've put it up in a clip but we're just going to roll with it i'm still in my coat i've been home for about two hours um this video is probably very late i am just gonna jump on and finish this vlog i've just edited it i'm gonna still try and get it up tonight for you but basically i hadn't edited it and me and callum went out for a walk today with danny and george and their gorgeous little dog we've had a really nice afternoon actually we went on like a really pretty walk and then we went back to their house and we were just chilling for a little bit feel like that spot is coming up it really hurts and then i we've come home and i've started editing this vlog so i'm hoping it can be up today if not it will probably be tomorrow but i've still got a fair bit of time to get this up but i really hope you've enjoyed it um i realized that after i showed you peanut i didn't actually say anything after i feel like the last thing you saw was peanut we just had a really nice weekend to be honest that day was really nice um we looked around the market, we looked around a few shops and yeah, it was just really lovely. So all in all, had a really nice weekend. Really hope you guys have enjoyed spending the weekend with me. Don't forget to give it a like if you did and also subscribe if you're new. Sorry if this vlog is a little bit chaotic. I hadn't really planned it out. It was just picked up the camera felt like vlogging that's the kind of vibe i was going for but i really hope you've enjoyed it anyway i'm gonna go and get in the bath and try and scrub off the remainder of my tan i tried to scrub it off last night and it just was not budging so i'm gonna try and do it tonight i hope you guys have had a lovely weekend enjoy the rest of your week and i'll well the the rest of your week the start of your week and i'll see you in the next video on wednesday love you guys so much bye